Traders, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my live trading session. We're looking at S&P 500 and mini futures. Time frame is 2000 tick chart. And first thing I need to do, I need to identify the bias. I can see that the overnight structure created a downtrend that had a break, a new extreme form, fulfilling the trend line rule. Strong push above exponential moving average confirmed the bullish uptrend. However, there was a break and the new extreme for the bullish uptrend as well. And right now you guys can see prices are pushing through the exponential moving average down, up, down. And right now this is looking like a trading range structure. For that reason, I identify the key levels and I'm going to see if they're going to get tested because right now this is indecision. We're basically working sideways. Notice how EMA is getting flat and I need to wait until market opens in 13 minutes for me to get idea where market is going and to show me a clear direction. All right, resuming the video as we have a bullish structure working higher. You guys can see we have a first few swings right here identifying a potential channel and right now structure is bullish but I haven't seen a decent high probability setup yet. We can have a small little overshoot but prices are not reacting to this overshoot too much because downtrend already had to break a new low. It pushed above EMA but right now we're in a small little sideways movement. I don't want to go long below EMA like this even though we have a double bottom. I need to wait for prices to give me a clear setup. All right, traders, I'm about to enter a second entry long on a limit order entry. The prices are actually turning back. I may not enter this trade. <clears throat> Let me see. We have a second entry long, but we form a double top. The bar was really big, so I wanted to take a limit order, but it looks like I may actually wait now with my order. Okay, so you guys can see why did I decided to use a limit order because I need to make sure I have enough room to previous swing high right here. I didn't have enough room so for that reason I decided to use limit order but when I saw this big bearish bar form and prices kept retracing I didn't want to take the trade because it seemed like price created a double top and strongly reversed down so for that reason I waited but you always need to make sure you have enough room to the highs for a scalp and it would have worked if you kept the limit order a little bit further back down because the bar is quite big and you need to make sure you have room by that point it was too risky for me to try chasing the trade like that once it formed a double top I felt breakout to the downside I'm going to use a limit order I'm going to go for 10 tick we broke to the downside we have a big bullish bar pushing strongly above EMA. This is a fell breakout with the overall direction of a trend. This is my first trade for the day. Once again, signal bar is very big and you guys can see that the market is fast. So I'm able to drop the limit order further back down. And since we go so strong above EMA, we just need a couple more ticks. Come on. And we got out. Perfect. So this is a fell breakout out of the congestion with the overall direction of a trend bias is still bullish when you see these congestions you want to be careful trading inside of these congestions you want to fade the breakout with the direction of overall trend and price broke to the downside trapped all the shorts going short directly during the breakout and now we're pushing higher with the overall direction of the trend all right traders i decided to trail the runner we're already reaching 20 point mark this is great gigantic runner and this is how i play the runner once it keeps pushing higher I trail it one tick below each swing and if it keeps pushing higher I'm just gonna trail the stop loss one tick below each new swing now this is not looking like one of those healthy strong uptrend days like we had yesterday this is still just a normal medium uptrend so I expect for prices to eventually pull back for that reason I'm not going to hold it for too long I'm going to be happy with 20 points 19 18 something like that and we'll see if we can squeeze something out of this run but right now we're at the top of my channel and we can get stopped out very soon looks like prices are pulling back and we may end up with something around 18 points but this is just a bonus in case market does something unexpected and i didn't really expect for prices to rail up higher this strongly but this is what fell breakout can do because a lot of traders are selling the strong momentum to the downside but overall structure is bullish according to rules i have to fade the breakout out of the congestion we close above ema signal bar was great my stop loss has to go one tick below entire swing though once again, it was too big, so I used the limit order here and I run the gut stop. Downtrend played out with the break and a new extreme. I'm following the shortened trend line rule. So right now, this downtrend is over and I'm safe to be looking for longs. We had a first entry short, pullback, second entry short failure, but we are still below the exponential moving average. I cannot go long below EMA like this is similar to yesterday. And yesterday we talked about, I'm actually going to show it. This right here is the setup we talked about yesterday. First entry short, second entry short failure. Looks very similar. Uptrend was very strong. And I remember I didn't take this trade because we still closed below the exponential moving average. And today looked very similar. So for that reason, I didn't take it below EMA because I have a set of rules that I want to follow. And I cannot break the rules. So unfortunately, I cannot 
have entered this trade even though it was tempting because downtrend played out with the break at a new low overall structure is still bullish so it is safe for me to go long but i need to see price confirming push above ema so i don't think this entry is very safe it is quite aggressive even 2500 tick chart didn't really form great above ema i decided to adjust my bullish trend this one fits much better off the lows and it's even decently fitting off the highs both variations are similar but this one fits slightly better so as i'm trading i'm just looking at chart and i'm trying to find the best fitting trend line as i can and this trend line right now is looking great you guys can see we reached the highs of the day the overnight highs but we completely blew through like it's not even there so the structure right now is getting strong this is a clearly strong bullish uptrend still thinking long i'm still looking for high probability setups at the key entry point i'm letting these bearish corrections play out and after these corrections play out then i'm going to take a long entry price has just broke this bullish uptrend and that means that according to price session trend line rule i expect a new extreme to be formed this is a clearly bullish structure we had a couple of decent two like a pullbacks even this felt second entry short after we reset the count here first entry short second entry short failure count reset first entry short second entry short failure great bullish bar near the ema downtrend played out confirming the overall bullish momentum and look how great of a runner you could have caught so right now we are pushing lower but i'm not switching into bearish bias just yet i need to get new extreme of this uptrend or at least attempt for new extreme so i'm going to be watching ema how prices are reacting to it i want to see strong push above ema and fell second entry short downtrend played out prices strongly pushed above exponential moving average but there is no setup for me to capitalize on going long and expecting new extreme for this major uptrend we could get a second entry long here but we didn't get it market only pushed on a first entry long then we had a high low right here but we are already way too close to these highs way too far from ema i cannot take this either there was a first second entry short but take a look at the congestion so this entire area is just slowly but surely chopping higher but it is overall congested and no clean setup for me to capitalize on to expect new stream for the uptrend however i still expect new stream for this uptrend because this is a strong bullish structure and according to trend line rules we expect new high all right traders we have a felt second entry short forming and i'm going to enter but i'm going to use a limit order further back order you guys can see i got filled perfectly so i'm going to go for eight tick target profit i'm going to move my runner at the highs and i see downtrend working lower i see a break new extreme formed first entry short strong push above ema and we got filled perfect so this was a felt second entry short above ema now the important thing here to understand why i'm taking a felt second entry short even though the prices are looking a little bit more bearish is that i'm going to zoom out and i'm going to remind myself what is the overall structure we have a strong uptrend working higher still needs to get new high now we didn't get new high on the first attempt but large channels have a larger correction sometimes this was a longer than i expected so it was quite surprised that we created a, such a massive downtrend work into the downside i was expecting for this trading range to hold but after break we ended up in a correction i have to adapt to this wider downtrend there was a break new extreme form indicating to me that the downtrend played out and i still need to get the new high for the major uptrend you need to zoom out and remind yourself okay we haven't retraced too far down we still need a new extreme this is still bullish and downtrend played out with the break and new low now when i see second entry short forming above ema that's how i know it is bullish it may be a trap and it's such, it takes one tick lower trapped everybody in it's a little reverse up strong bullish signal bar great felt second entry short this is my second trade for the day you guys can see i had to sit here and wait for this one single high probability setup throughout this entire mess all of this was congested I missed a couple of decent setups on the way up i just managed to get one and i was taking small little short breaks because i was really feeling the need to take entry it was really slow throughout this area you have to keep the emotions under control if there is not a high probability setup i just have to sit on my hands and i cannot force an entry this downtrend needed to break new extreme and only after i get a push above ema and a felt second entry short that's when i can take the long entry ema kept holding price and a nice bullish signal bar stop loss was quite big you guys saw me using a limit order once again trailing the runner one tick below this bar right here we didn't really push higher to create a swing higher but i'll be more than happy with taking eight points given the fact that my first runner was a quite a big one I actually managed to get a two runners and if you start getting a little bit lucky and you start catching these runners it can really change the math see that these runners are worth it right now 
and I always trail it one tick below the swing. We didn't really take higher first swing to create, but if I kept my original stop loss, it would have been one tick below this bar right here, or potentially even this bar right here. I would really make only a handful of points. All right, traders, we just had new high, first entry long, second entry long, and we had high low after second entry long, which is right now a high, high probability setup, confirming the two like a pullback. EMA keeps holding price, but I had my two trades for the day with two great runners, and I'm not going to push it. So I'm gonna wrap it up for the day, two trades. If you guys made it to the very end of the video, you're probably enjoying the content. So I like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'm gonna see you guys the next time. Take care, everybody.